Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us. Our guest today is Mr. Jason Bowling, and he's here to talk with us about his diagnosis with a rare joint disease that caused such severe, isolated, chronic pain that he thought that amputation was his only source of relief. He's also here to talk about a device that was implanted that has more than significantly improved his life today. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Jason Bowling. Well, thank you. Give our listeners a a bit of background about yourself. Well, so in 2012, started with uh, the joint disease that you described um, that's genetic. And uh, just in the last two years have gone through a series of foot operations on my left foot where uh, the nerve damage has become so severe. At one point, um, as you mentioned, I was uh, just days away from having to get it amputated before uh, this the other solution with the DRG implant presented itself. What was the condition? This uh, What's the name of this degenerative uh, joint condition that you got that basically gave you the degenerated joints of, of an 80-year-old man? What was it called? Well, so mine is actually genetic. And so um, mine's called my dad. And um, <laughs> unfortunately um, for me, that it's something that isn't going to get better or uh, have a cure that comes around for um, but medical technology has stayed a step in front of me um, as far as uh, maintaining at least uh, regaining a quality of life back um, that I had lost um, previously uh, before the implant. Now, this this pain, this severe pain that you were experiencing was called a CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. Now, that's something that uh, not only suffers of uh, your disorder, Uh, go through, but anyone who's got this localized, chronic, isolated pain, is that correct? Uh, Yeah, my understanding is um, anybody who has severe nerve damage, um, and in my case, um, my body actually rejected two reconstructive um, operations physically, and so um, my body started sending signals um, to the nervous system back and forth as though it needed to attack all the titanium and parts that were put into my foot. Mm-hmm. And um, that caused uh, uh, the chronic nerve pain um, that got so severe um, that we were just out of options. And literally three days before I was to get my leg amputated from about mid-calf down um, mm-hmm. is when uh, my my foot surgeon's partner, um, who had just a couple of weeks prior to that to my appointment, um, had seen uh, a, a day seminar on this procedure that Dr. Heroes does here locally for us. And um, uh, I was asked if I was interested because they felt that I was a good candidate for it. Now, this is D- DRG therapy or dorsal root ganglion therapy. And you said Dr. Uh, Robert Heroes performed that surgery for you. Uh, talk about this device. Now, is this a device that is uh, implanted permanently or is it something that you take with you and you use it from time to time? Describe this uh, device and procedure to us. So the procedure is, um, it's fairly complex in the fact that uh, it's obviously dealing with um, wires and leads that go up the spinal cord and then get attached into the spinal um, vertebrae where the nerves are located for me in my left leg and foot. And um, and it's a, a, fairly, a fairly rigorous process that the Abbott Group um, works with uh, Dr. Heros and other spinal surgeons um, to go through to prepare you for even the trial period, which um, is about 14 days um, that lets you actually see if the unit's going to help you um, before they do an implant. In my case, it helps dramatically. What were the possibilities going into your understanding that your body might reject this procedure as well? Um, you know, I had uh, uh, about a 60% chance that it would likely help me um, or better. And in my trial, so for my trial, um, it took my pain level on a 10 scale from about an 8 um, or so in a day and cut it in about half. And so um, our whole goal um, when I met with Dr. Heroes and we were entering into the trial was to reduce my pain level by at least 50%. And now, um, since the implant was done, um, and it, and to answer your question, the implant is permanently in, in my lower back, and it's a, a, the DRG unit in a battery pack. 
within the wires um, that I described going up the spinal cord. And um, then I have an external device that I Bluetooth to connect to it so that I can adjust the amount of in interrupt or stimulation um, that the, the nerves are getting at any, any given moment. So um, it allows me to adjust as well. So this is all electronic. There are no uh, medicines involved. Is, is that correct? That's right. There's there's no um, I mean, aside from the surgery, which thankfully they give you a, a nice cocktail to, to knock you out, but enough mm -hmm. that they actually are conversing with you during the surgical procedure. Oh, okay. um, and so they're asking you um, while they're doing the implant, you know, can you feel this? Can you feel this? You know, and you're responding, um, although I honestly don't recall, um, but they got it right. Um, I just had my x-rays done on my spine and everything looks really good. Um, and we're at about the six month mark. Is this something that is affordable for any of the hundred million other chronic pain sufferers? Is this something that, um, some special financing had to be looked at? Was it readily uh, <laughs> paid by your insurance company? So I'll, I'll tell you, it's quite affordable. Um, you know, uh, my insurance has covered pretty much everything, all the expenses. Um, uh, and, um, my understanding is mo more and more um, the insurance companies are really embracing this option um, for two reasons. One is it's mm -hmm. less invasive than um, having to go in and mechanically reconstruct a foot or try to address nerve damage with um, mechanical means um, or, of surgery. Um, the, the second reason is that compared to amputation, um, I just did the quick math, and it's a fraction of the cost um, if you take into account a six- or seven-month recovery um, and prosthetic and everything with an amputation. So from an insurance perspective, I fully expect that they're going to be more and more interested in success cases um, uh, because it's very cost-effective and very effective overall. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, when it concerns mobility, 10 being absolutely wonderful, you know, you're right back to the way you were before you were diagnosed and one being, eh, you know, I'm, I could probably have done better not doing this. Where would you say your mobility lies as a result of this uh, technology? So um, for me personally, I'm at about a six or a seven now. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's really been a, a big game changer for me. Um, the the fact that my options before before the DRG were so limited that I was going to have to to go through amputation mm -hmm. is a, a real good sign of of where things were um, with my nervous system and how it was behaving as a result of my condition. Um, it was debilitating. Um, I was down to the point where um, I couldn't walk. I was I had to use arm crutches all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, now, uh, you know, I still wear braces that are custom built for me. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm mo mobile enough that I walk and I don't use crutches or a cane or anything. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm a little wobbly. Um, I've learned how to fall real well. Um, but, <laughs> um, along the way, uh, you know, it takes some bumps and bruises to learn new processes to do the things that you enjoy. Now, where would you suggest that our listeners go online and learn more about CRPS and the dorsal root ganglion therapy uh, as well? Um, so the, the Spinal Clinic um, has a great website, Dr. Heros' clinic um, does, and Abbott, um, I believe, is bringing up, if they haven't already um, brought up their website um, in completion, um, as they've done, gone through the acquisition with St. Jude, um, and um, if you Google now, um, everything seems to be Googleable. Um, mm -hmm. If you Google now, um, it, you'll actually find information up on the web just by Googling DRG. Thank you for coming in today. Some great information and a fascinating story. And I'm really glad that you're doing so well and you didn't have to uh, go through an amputation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thanks, Neil. You have a great one. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Mr. Jason Bowling at the age of 46, diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder that left him with some degenerated joints that were similar to those of an 80-year-old man. But thankfully, his uh, condition was addressed with DRG therapy. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download in SoundCloud.